this is news channel 7 <laughs> we're recording hey y'all welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel i'm amber and this is my mama aisha yes miss aisha and today we're going to be filming the 13 and pregnant story time for y'all i know that sounds crazy 13 and pregnant really are you gonna sit <laughs> are you gonna sit there and like pose like pose like that i know that's crazy or my mama got pregnant with me when she was 13. so i know before in videos like in vlogs and stuff my mom was in my vlogs people will ask if she can give like a little story about her life because you know now she has four kids she graduated high school she got a bachelor she has a master's yet yeah, people are just like it would be cool just to hear her story and know a background about it so that's what we're gonna do i posted it on instagram asked y'all if y'all prefer to see a 13 and pregnant story time or turning her into me and people were saying both but 13 and pregnant story time blew out of the water so people want to know honey how do you get pregnant at 13 <laughs> but yeah so wow. i'm gonna let her talk in a second but i really haven't heard the story myself not from a mama she hasn't really told me much about it so i'm gonna be sitting here sipping the tea too sis so i might you know have to butt in a couple times ask some questions because i'm curious i'm excited so um yes i'm 24 do you want them to know your age well they know now 38 okay. yeah she's 38 so she got pregnant with me when she was 13 and she obviously had me when she was 14, so yes. <laughs> you look like you just okay, here so for an interview. To get this started, like she said, I got pregnant when I was 13. And it's funny because I think I really kind of blocked out what really happened um, at that point in time in my life. I just didn't want to talk about it. So Amber's donor and I, when she says donor, she doesn't mean she went to a clinic. This is just what we call my sperm donor because he's basically, he might, she might as well have gone to a clinic. But anyways. Right grew up together we were best friends we did everything together up until the point of me getting pregnant um that summer we actually became blood brother and sister and i don't know if any of y'all know about this but i cut my finger he cut his finger and we were bleeding it and we like put it together and we were like hey we're blood brother and sister now so cute so <laughs> right and when you go back to think about it like nasty that's infectious <laughs> so i do not Rick recommend anybody to go out and do that like i say we grew up together because his grandmother babysat me for years with us being the same age pretty much he's like a couple months older than me we just grew up together we were around each other all the time and his mom and my mom became best friends so they would hang out together and you know go, go do things together and we were always together so that summer they needed somebody to help out around the house so that summer, I had gone try to help, do what I could to help them out around the house. And just so happened one day, you know, we were being <laughs> experimental, I guess you would say, as playing house. Yeah. Um, as little young kids that didn't really know what they were doing. So when I say you can get pregnant the first time, you can get pregnant the first time. That's we crazy. Only one time one time if you are young listen to me you can get pregnant the first time i did with that being said That's you know crazy. fast forward wait well wait were you about to tell how you found out you were pregnant yeah oh, okay okay because i'm curious so fast forward again i'm 13 i didn't know so 13 you're eighth grade eighth grade oh, okay so yeah so mind you my mom had always been very open with me about guys menstrual cycles everything pretty much because i was her only child so she was always very open always told me you know if you ever if you ever get ready just let me know we can go get you on some pills all this and all that so for the parents that have a child and you're talking to them and you're very open with them just know that it may not be planned. This thing that we did wasn't planned. We were just experimenting one day mm -hmm. and it happened. Yeah, so after the summer, I went home or whatever and months and months went by. Me being 13, I didn't think nothing about me missing my period. Even if I missed it, I think I was still like spotting So it wasn't like I really missed my period, yeah. missed my period. And I was like, okay. So a few months later, I say, Three, four months, I started gaining a little weight. And I really didn't get that big. When I got pregnant with Amber, I was 98 pounds. When I had Amber and I went full term, 
I had her two weeks early. She was due March 30th. I had her March 18th. I was 115 pounds. So I was still really small. Yeah. My stomach just got really big. But I went three months and I started gaining weight and I was like, why am I gaining weight? What's going on? So again, me being a naive 13 year old, I didn't put two and two together. Four months, you know, I'm like, mm, something is not right. So, you know, I'm walking around junior high school and people looking at me like, <laughs> you know, what's going on? And I'm looking at them like, what you mean? Because I really, again, did not still realize that I was pregnant. So, right about the fifth month, I was like, okay, so what's going on? My mom was working at the time, a first and second shift job. So, she was primarily at work all day long. But my great grandmother lived up the street. So what I would do was after school, I would go to my great grandmother's house. When my mom would get off at night, she would come and wake me up and we would go home. So pretty much she wasn't seeing me like that because she was working like almost every day. So one night she came and woke me up and I would be in the bed with my first cousin, Lisa. Don't act like y'all ain't never had to sleep <laughs> with your cousin before. But you know how you have to share a bed yeah, sometimes. Um, so we were in the bed and she tapped my stomach and she was like, oh, excuse me, Lisa. She thought it was Lisa's butt. And it was my stomach, oh, my pregnant man. stomach. Wow. And so, That's right, crazy. by this time I was six months pregnant. And you and still didn't know you were pregnant. I still pregnant. did not know. Like, I had not been to a doctor. Right. And had a pregnancy test or nothing. So, that night we went home or whatever. And my mom started talking to me. And she was like, you know, it just seems like you're putting on some weight. You keep wearing all these big baggy clothes. Again, I was 98 pounds when I got pregnant. So, I could cover up really easy. I had started getting cool. So, I was just wearing jogging pants and big sweatshirt. Because I'm like, I'm gaining a lot of weight. I mean, I don't really know what's going on. So here was the deal. Do you think you want to go to the doctor and get yourself checked? Or would you like some tennis shoes? So by this time, I'm thinking, I really need to go to the doctor because something ain't right. And I was like, um, I think I need to go to the doctor. And she was like, okay. She kind of like played it off because I think she had really started picking up on it. Mm -hmm. But hadn't so she said maybe a week or so later she said she was at work and she all of, all of a sudden seen my face but heard a baby crying i was like oh okay one night she had came and woke me up again mm -hmm. we went home and i went and got in the shower well when i got in the shower she came in the bathroom and she was like aisha are you pregnant and i was like no i've always been the size <laughs> i was six months pregnant child Again, I'm 13. I'm like, what do you mean I'm pregnant? No, I've just gained a little bit of weight. And that's completely understandable because I feel like even when when I first started my period, y'all, like I'm not going to go into too much detail, but I did not even realize it was my period. Just because you're so young and you're just like, you don't think Some, stuff like something that. is wrong with me. Right. I just don't know what it is. But yeah, so that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, so I was like, okay, you know, no, I've always been the size. So at that point, she was like, oh no, you're pregnant. So she called my daddy. She was like, you really need to come down here tonight. And he was like, well, this can't wait until tomorrow because he was a truck driver. And she was like, no, you need to get down here right now. So he came and um, she was like, and you're going to have to tell your daddy that you're pregnant. And I was like, no. I just found out I'm no. pregnant. <laughs> like, what do you mean? I mean, I told you I've been this size. And she was like, no, there's no way in the world that you're not pregnant. And she was like, why didn't you say something? And I was like, I didn't know. So he got down there, whatever. And I told him. And so he was like, he was about to pass out or whatever. So moving forward, she scheduled me a, a doctor's appointment. We went to the doctor, confirmed that I was pregnant. But it, at school, it had gotten to the point where, you know, I finally started telling people. And of course, you're in eighth grade. You know, it wasn't when I was coming up. It wasn't all that popular or whatever. You know, it, it, it wasn't a lot of pregnant people in yeah, school. Especially at your age. Right. So I'm walking around school. You know, everybody's looking at me crazy. Um, people that used to even talk to you, they stopped talking to me. And, you know, different things like that. And so there was a teacher, Miss Thomas. Thank you, Miss Thomas. She reached out to me and she was like, 
I know, you know, it's probably stressful with you come to school every day. And um, I just want you to know that there's a opportunity for you to continue going to school, but you will be homeschooled. Mm -hmm. She was like, um, so would you like to do that? And I was like, yeah, because I want to stay on track. And she was like, I would love to homeschool you. Mm -hmm. So she she started coming to our house after school every day, going over my lesson plans, you know, get my homework, checking it. She would take it back to the school. And that helped me not go to school. Disclaimer, if you are young, first of all, let your parents know. Or if you're of age enough to go get some birth control, do that. But make sure you keep yourself protected. It was very stressful. When I say very stressful being pregnant and 13, it was very stressful. Okay? So how did you react when you really realized, oh, I'm not just big, I'm actually pregnant. Like, how did you feel? Horrible. I was depressed, um, yeah. emotionally, it mentally drained me. And then I started thinking like, huh? <laughs> I remember us playing around like that one time, but I didn't think, but you know, I have four kids. So, hey, them eggs just laying there like with all of that being said, we finally told your donor. Mm -hmm. So he was like, cool with it or whatever. Of course, my daddy, he said, if I see this anywhere, he's dead. Mm -hmm. because he was upset which makes sense I mean right um after we found out and everything we were going to abort ah! y'all may not you know be for that and I can't stop how you feel but I was 13 and pregnant and so got everything together my cousin drove us to past Columbia somewhere y'all I don't even remember the doctor came in did my ultrasound and when he started doing the ultrasound he was like Oh, <laughs> I'm looking at him like, what? what? <laughs> he stopped and he said, well, I'm going to bring your mom in. You know, is that okay? And I was like, yeah. So he brought her in and he was like, she's too far gone in the state of South Carolina. And so he said, I'm going to let you get dressed. I'm going to bring you back to my office and we can discuss some other plans. So when we went into his office, he had these little sticks out and I was like, what is we about to do with this? <laughs> so he said, I can insert three sticks. They weren't sticks y'all, but that's what they look like. And that's all I remember. Mm -hmm. They look like little sticks. So he said, I can insert three sticks in her. Y'all are driving from here back to along the way. She'll start dilating. Once she start dilating, she may go into labor. Y'all may be on the highway or you may have made it back by this time. And my mom was like, no. Yeah. Um, she was like, you mean dilate and go into labor and have a baby on the side of the highway? And he was like, that is possible. He just trying to make money because to me, that ain't legal either. Right. But so what was you going to do once you had the baby? Just <laughs> when he said that would have been a possibility that you wouldn't have made it. Oh. So because... You know, I would have had you so early or whatever. Oh, this is tragic. <laughs> right. So, so y'all don't come for me right. because this was 24 years ago. Yeah, exactly. So I was like, I don't want to do that. My mom's like, no, that don't sound safe. She was like, I already didn't want to bring her here. No way. This so, my, was, so my grandma wanted you. She yeah. wanted me to keep you. Mm -hmm. Um, my daddy, not so much, <laughs> but it was because, and you have to think, I you mean, know, yeah. me and he wanted me to have the best life. He wanted great mm -hmm. things in life and he didn't want me being pregnant that. and yeah, to stop me. I was like, mm -mm, I don't want to do this. So he was like, okay, you know, if you decide you want to just let us know. And so my cousin, y'all have to know her. She was like, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Bring it and come on, let's go. We're going to take that money to go shopping. So on the way back up the road, we went and got me some maternity clothes. We were like, hey, going to have to deal with it. Moving forward, after we told, he started working. And when I first had Amber, that's too far ahead. Go back to delivery. Yeah, yeah, delivery. So delivery. Again, I finished homeschool, made it through the eighth grade. I had her March 18th. So I hadn't finished at that point, but he was like, I was done. almost done for yeah. the year. And I still did finish on time. Actually, y'all, I graduated a year early. Oh, right. I, I skipped my junior year and graduated, um, oh, okay. which would have been my junior year, but it was ended up in my senior mm -hmm. year. But anyway, that morning, okay, eighth grade, I was still sleeping with my mama, <laughs> not because I didn't have a bed, 
because I was the only child and I was a big baby mm -hmm. and I was still sucking my thumb. Oh God. Remember I was 13. So this particular morning I kept having like cramps, like I got to do the number two or something. <laughs> so I got up out the bed and went and sat on the toilet and they tell you, do if you were in labor, do not sit on the toilet. Oh my goodness. Um, and I know this now, but at 13, I didn't know this. Right. So I got up, went and sat on the toilet. I was like, man, I just can't get comfortable. You know, I went back and got in the bed with my mama, got up again. And I had got up a few times and she finally got up and she was like, are you okay? And I was like, it just feel like I need poop. I said, my stomach is hurting. And um, she was like, hold up. We need to start timing this. <laughs> so, I can hear my grandma now. Right. Y'all see my grandma? Oh my gosh, yes. I can and hear. she already just, she be freaking out and stuff. So she was like, we need to start timing this. And I was like, why? I mean, I'm not due until the 30th. And she was like, no, we need to start timing this. So we started timing it and she was like, you having contractions. And I think at that point they were like, 10, 12 minutes apart or whatever. Mm -hmm. So the lady, a couple doors down, she was going to take us to the hospital or mm -hmm. whatever. I said, well, I'm hungry. I don't want to go out to the hospital and I haven't ate anything. And so she went in. She was like, what do you want to eat? So I said, I want some pancakes, bacon, grits, eggs, toast, I think. I don't know, a whole spread. She was like, if this girl is in labor, you can't be cooking her nothing to eat. She can't eat nothing. And I was so disappointed she was like you need to get her on out to the hospital because by this time i was having contractions like constantly and so um so how did it feel like because you said it just felt like you needed to use the bathroom i just felt like i need to poop so that's what, how it felt like almost the entire time so it's not so you didn't feel the pain like no it hadn't started hitting me like oh, that okay okay so we went on out to the hospital they, of course, confirmed that I was in labor. And I finally had Amber. It was like 5.37 p.m. Seriously? Girl? No. The only thing I had was the something that they put in the bag. And I can't even remember. It was like a pain. Relief. Relief. Like, yeah. type something. But, yeah, I didn't have an epidural. I had her. We went home. Her donor did not come out to the hospital. Actually, I don't even think we told them at that time. Mm. But... Like a week or so later, maybe a couple of days later, I can't remember. But we finally told them and they came down to see her or whatever. So he started working. You know, he was giving me like $50 every two weeks or something. Um, big money. <laughs> so um, he did that for maybe a month or two. And, you know, um, that diminished. But... Hey, whatever. Yeah, it is what it is. Um, that's why we call him a donor. Yeah. Oh, and for you all that think postpartum depression is not real, it is real. I had postpartum depression when I had Amber. I don't know if it was because I was by that time 14 mm -hmm. and a mom, but I didn't want to see her. I did not want to hear her. I did not want to touch her. And that went on for maybe two months. Mm. And finally, I started coming around and um, holding her and stuff like that. And, of course, that all passed. Right. But um, we're here now. Yes. <laughs> Time has gone by. We have grown up together. Mm -hmm. um, That's really funny to think about because whenever I tell people, especially when I was younger, I'd be like, Oh yeah, my mama had me when she was 13 and of course like my mama ever came to my schools or anything. All my friend guys would be like thinking about it. She was probably like my age now like going up to my school so she was young. But people are always like, oh that's so cool. Like it must be so cool to have a mama that's... But to me, me and my mama are really close but I don't feel like it's a thing where me and my mama ain't going to the club together none of that. So I still looked at her as a mother. So right. I didn't really think of like the fact that... And I still don't really think of the fact that she's only... 13, 14 years older than me, whatever, you know. So, yeah, I, I mean, I was probably more scared of my mama than some people who's scared of their older parents, you know what I'm saying? Because she was just a mama. She's a grandma, you know, so. You know, I try to be very supportive of anything any of them want to do or is doing. I've always said, as long as it's legal and it, it affords you to 
handle yourself mm -hmm. i'm good with it the, another thing that kind of affected me mentally when i was pregnant was the fact that people would see my mom out and people that knew us or whatever be like your daughter is pregnant you should kick her out why would she kick me out where was i going right. why would you ever do anything like that to your kids i mean to each his own mm -hmm. but you're kicking them out to the wolves so i just I have always said i'm going to be there to support my kids regardless of what they choose to do yeah, um because my grandma supported you because yeah. i had that support yeah. and eventually you know after my daddy got over his yeah pops little I love part pop, pops right love it's no um no he has feeling. been very supportive yeah. um you know and he had to deal with it mentally just like i had to deal with it mentally and my mom had to deal with it mentally i forgot to mention when i was pregnant um me and either my cousin or me and my friend, my very close friend, we would walk to the store every day. I walked for exercise mm -hmm. and that was probably why my labor wasn't as intense. Unless it was raining, we walked to the store every day so that I could get a red soda. <laughs> so I wanted a red fountain every day. And when Amber was born, she had red freckles coming from her head down the back of her neck. And as she's gotten older, they of course have vanished or whatever you. they blended in with the skin <laughs> but the thing about it is be supportive of your kids things in life happen so at this point in my life nothing really embarrasses me there are a few things that you know <laughs> may push me to the top but nothing really embarrasses me because i feel like at 13 i embarrass myself so much because of me being pregnant mm -hmm. but i've overcome that right and moved on with my life i wanted to always graduate high school because people constantly said how I was going to be a dropout and how I wouldn't graduate. So I wanted to overcome those boundaries that people created for me. Mm -hmm. So you have to just remember, speak life into the people you're surrounded by. You can do whatever you want to do. Again, I'm not saying go out here and right. do this. But I'm saying if you're already in the situation, there's a better day. Mm -hmm. Don't give up. Just keep pushing. But now for y'all that's out here and you hadn't done it, if you're watching, don't do it. Wait till you're ready. Wait till you're prepared. And all that, let's play house. But for no, me personally, do I can't tell the difference between whether my mom was 13 or she was 38 and ready to have me honestly because she's been a great mother thank you i felt like i wanted to do this video because obviously mother's day but yeah so happy mother's day to all the mothers out there happy, mother's, happy day. mother's day to you thank mama. you i love um, you yeah i know i love you too i don't know i just it's crazy to think about i can't imagine i can't imagine having a baby right now child <laughs> let alone 13 um but yeah. hold on but let me say something it's yeah. funny that she say that because at the point which I'm glad that, I mean, you know, I still have two teenage daughters. Mm -hmm. Karen just turned 19. Azaria, she'll be 18 in June. Mm -hmm. And just to think about them, when they hit 13, it was funny because I was always like, Lord, I hope they don't get pregnant. <laughs> because looking at them, it's I was always mature because my mama was already always very open with me. Mm -hmm. Which I feel like I was very open with them, but it was just the maturity level. It was the things I had already endured right. through life that they didn't experience. So it helped develop me. Mm -hmm. But yeah, at 13, 14, I was like, Lord, please just <laughs> cover them, protect them, keep them away from it. And then I look at them now, I'm like, no, they still not ready, Lord. <laughs> um, just wait a few more years. Yeah. But yeah, I just, it is what it is. And yeah. hey, we're here now. So, right. But I love them. I love them all. So exactly. I love being a mother. I don't. You don't really have any pictures from when you were pregnant, do you? No. I mean, my nose was like this wide. Seriously stressed out. So I looked horrible. I look nothing like I look now. Um, mm -hmm. it was yeah, it was bad. Seriously, my ear, my nose probably went from ear to ear. <laughs> <laughs> You're so <laughs> mixed. <laughs> I mean, I was like, oh my gosh, yeah. I, but I don't think I even had any pictures of me during that time, mm -hmm. just because I. I mean, at the time, I really didn't want to remember it. Right. So, not yeah. thinking years later that, you that would be something good to look right. back on. But because I would be curious, I yeah. mean, I want to see what you look like at 13 and pregnant. I it's may just, find a picture someday, one day. Yeah. But 
Yeah. It's funny, even when we look at pictures of me and my mama and my grandma, it looks like my grandma is our mama and we're, right. <laughs> we're sisters. But a lot of people think that we're sisters all the time. Mm -hmm. But I think my mama's identical twin, but she's yeah. my mama. When I was born, I have the same exact birthmark somewhere right. on my body that my mama has in the same right. exact place. And it's crazy. It is so, crazy. And I can open my mama's phone with my face and none of my other siblings can. So right. yeah, I know I have a little beat face right now, but <laughs> I think genetically my mama had me by herself. I mean, might as well. Right. But you have anything else? to say or no, I just thank God for just covering me through that time and bringing us this far right and I thank God for giving me the moment that I have and it's a blessing for sure yeah like seriously can't talk too much about it not gonna get any tears <laughs> but yeah so I really do hope y'all enjoyed this video my mama you know opened up for y'all just to give y'all a little insight about her life. Yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Yes. And subscribe to my channel, too. right? Yeah, and subscribe to my channel to join our family because you will see my mom on the vlogs. So if you watch, you know. I will see y'all on my next video. Have a happy Mother's Day. Yeah, happy Mother's Day. Bye. See you later. Bye-bye.